So I'm here to tell you about one of the most insane little hacks on the S5 II and the S5-2X firmware update that nobody is talking about. You're also currently witnessing the new e-stabilization on the high setting. I'm not using a gimbal, and yeah, I'm sprinting down the hallway to my room because I'm tired and there's a long day tomorrow. The Lumix just dropped a huge update for the S5 II and the S5 IIx, which we're going to have to do a deep dive in another video. But in case you missed it, here's what's new. We got the newly updated autofocus system like the one on the G9 Mark II. We've got pre-burst shooting for photos, proxy recording to the second SD card slot, camera to cloud integration for proxies, and the new high e-stabilization setting that you saw me demonstrate at the beginning of this video. Watch the camera, watch the camera. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I almost ran into my camera, he must hate Lumix. But there's something else that I figured out you can do on the new firmware that nobody else has figured out yet and nobody is talking about. Hey, Sean, is Lumix out of their minds? Cause look, look at this. So the new firmware update, right? Yeah. So if I go in super 35 lens and then change this to here, it's still in 6K. <laughs> hmm. On the new high e-stabilization setting, it crops in on the sensor like 1.3 to 1.5 times, which means that you can use a super 35 lens and not only get the insane IBIS at the full frame of the Super 35 lens, but you can also shoot in 6K open gate. So I'm just gonna demonstrate it right now. So I'm on 6K open gate on Super 35 lens. You can see the vignetting right now. And then I changed to the high setting on e-stabilization. Look at this, 6K open gate at Super 35. We broke Lumix. So the goals of this video is to test this on more Super 35 lenses but also to convince Aerie to let me put one of their signature primes on the Lumix camera. Oh, and uh, maybe we'll also find some cool things along the way. So let's go. The first lens test, we're on the 16 mil Super 35 lens Nightwalker. How is it? I'm looking for more Super 35 lenses. I'm pretty sure Laowa has some, so maybe we should stop by Laowa. There's Laowa. We can get some Super 35 lenses here. You think they'll let me? I hope so. Shout out to Laowa. They, you guys just announced these, right? The Rangers? Yeah. Yes. Super 35, right here. First time test pre-testing in the US. Hey, I'll be I'll be back. I won't keep it, but I'm tempted. This is an 11 mil. So that would mean Super 35, we're at like uh, 16. How's the stabilization looking? It's gotta be looking really good, right? It's insane that you could sprint like this and you can use it in 6K. So I could see a tiny bit of vignetting on that last one, but right now I'm on a 50 millimeter Laowa Ranger. So the 50 to 130. I'm at 50 millimeters. We're just gonna kind of walk sideways and see how stable it is. Look at that. Dude, that's crazy. Super 35, 6K on the high stabilization setting. This is blowing my mind. Not doing any slow-mo. Got a little, a few little jerks there, but that's okay. Let's just go a little crazy. Let's go 130, see how it does. So I'm at 130, walking forward. You gotta be really, really light at 130. I don't know if it works there at 130, but if I'm standing here, maybe just doing some like little, little pans. Doing some little pans. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. By the way, the, I'm not trying to get anything cool right now, okay? So sorry for my cinematography, it sucks right now. We're back at 50, walking forward. Look at that. Oh, we'll follow this guy. Look at that. Wow. Ho oh, oh. ho, oh! Two times anamorphic? We gotta see. Here you go, Jeff. Does that mean I'm gonna be in your videos? You're in two times <laughs> anamorphic right now. How's the close focus? How we doing, how we doing? Okay, right, right about here. That's actually really good. That's really For good. anamorphic? Yeah. That's really good. We're at 6K open gate right now. What would that be aspect ratio wise? I don't know. 277? Kato. 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 Two times and three by two. Yeah, there we go. Now we're seeing it. Okay, that's nice. I like the silver flare. So interesting thing I've just learned about the new firmware update on the Illumix S5 II. When you're in anamorphic, you don't get the high setting interesting observation. Moving on to the next thing. We gotta go to Surrey. Surrey has uh, super 35 lenses. Let's go to there. 
Where is Survey? Where are they? Okay, I see them. I see them. I see them. So we already tried it on the Nightwalkers, but maybe we should try it on these little boys? I don't know. Maybe they don't even have L mount. Do you guys have these in L mount? Have you heard of GL Optics? Is my mic on still? You think my hand, my camera can handle it? I feel really powerful with this thing. Hold on, I'm gonna get a little bit of you. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. I want to get a profile, but you're just getting me. Sorry, I, <laughs> I'm just getting nothing very cool. Maybe I'll get these people looking at the lens. That Lenses. is such a beast of a lens. Dude, it's kind of cool. I'd never use it, but maybe you will. So Surai didn't have any of APS-C lenses or Super 35 lenses to nail mount. Besides the Nightwalker ones, which you should uh, go watch that video if you haven't already. Well, we're headed to Viltrox right now. They've got some Super 35s for L mount. What? is this thing. Maybe this should have been the lens that we try to convince to put on our camera instead of the, the Master Primes or the Signature Primes, whatever. You sure? You're sure? I'll, I'll hold it like this. Fuck that. Down here? Yeah. I have a PL mount. No, you cannot. Oh. So we're at 30 right now. Zoom. It's very, very smooth, but very big. 300 millimeters on the 30 to 300. It's not in focus. There we go. That's actually a smooth focus. This is awkward. They, they told me they had Super 35, but they actually don't. So I don't really know where to go next. I know there's more. Where do we go? automatically come to the rent as well. So we yeah. found some more. In Let's try them out. Okay, so right now we're at 25 mil, super 35, and we're walking. There's no vignetting on this one. No vignetting at all. Look at this. Look at how, look at just how stable it is. I'm telling you, man, this new firmware update, it's, uh, Really nice. We gotta stop here. Re really cool thing. Here, I promise. We got the macros on the dual lens. Ready? You ready to see this? Oh, look at this. Look at this. It just keeps going. Yeah, exactly. That's there we go, right there. These are the lenses I own. Probably gonna pick up a 21 as well, but yeah, here's the new, very, very similar size. Focus gears and the aperture, same spot. Good pairing, I'm just saying, good pairing. Great price, great lenses, I love them. Here we go, 21. How's the rainbow flare? Is there any, oh, there's a little bit. Here we go. Okay. It's a nice little, nice little rainbow right there. If you're sleeping on these lenses, stop. Stop sleeping. I apologize profusely, my mic wasn't on for that whole uh, DZO film. Vespid, whatever they're called, bit, but uh, great lenses, by the way. Uh, I'm on the hunt, though, for more Super 35 Cine lenses. What are those over there? Are those Super 35? So those are not Super 35. So now we're back on the hunt. I am just searching, desperately searching. I, th I thought it'd be really easy to find more Super 35 lenses to test, but it's actually a lot harder than I was expecting. So we got the Black Magic Pixies, Pixies? I don't know, something like that. 6K, though? Yeah. L mount. It's actually got the same lens on it right now. So uh, yeah, looks cool. Big screen on the side. Doesn't move at all though. But you got the removable icon. So that's nice. No internal NDs, but hey, for three grand, can't complain. So Zeiss had a Super 35, but it was uh, only an EF mount. We've only got PL and L mount, so I couldn't test it. So we're back on the hunt. Look who that is. I basically dragged him out to NAB. We're seeing two times on the Surrey. I've never, I've never seen the two times anamorphic on here. It's vignetting a bit. Is it? That's okay. That's okay. They're shooting. You're open gate, right? I'm open gate though. Right. I'm sitting shooting at 6K open gate. It is vignetting a bit. That's okay. It's my little one little gripe too about Lumix. I want 1.6 times in here. I'm, I'm fighting for it because we need that ibis at 1.6. So uh, if you got this on, you get two times, so. 
looks good. By the way, guys, I just talked to Sennheiser and I had this idea to make this usable on the hot shoe of the Lumix. So you get rid of the cable, you kind of use it like the Lumix interface. Something I'm talking to them about. I'm watching out for you guys. I'm trying to, you know, get more collaborations between Lumix and other brands. So I got you guys. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in is uh, something like that. So now we're heading to Mickey or Mikey, whatever, however you say it. They're here somewhere. Somebody told me that they're here. They're usually here. I know that they've got Super 35. At least I'm like pretty sure that they do. So it might be our last stop. Okay, so this one isn't Super 35, but I figured let's, let's put it on and see how it looks. Why not? It's L mount. So let's try it. So here we are, 21 mil on the Erix. How do you say it? Irix, Irix. I should have known that. That was dumb. Irix, 21 mil. It's always hard to tell you give like you know an opinion in these like you know kind of shows I feel like i got to put some lighting up and you know do some things like that but hey they're interesting it's a little interesting thing about these lenses too it's funny too because i was thinking of this idea but these are you know filters right you can actually there's no thread on here right or there's a thread but there's no like you know extra accessory they can just magnetize straight onto the lens. Hidden gem, found another. I'll be honest guys, I don't know where Mike is. So I'm sorry Mike, you missed out on testing Super 35 lenses. Somehow I wound it up at the Nikon booth and hey, they bought red. There it is, back little corner. All right, let's move on. So what does a guy gotta do to convince one of you guys to let me put one of the Airy Master Primes on my S52X? So who does a, who do I gotta ask? To, convince me or convince them to let me put a Harry Master Prime on my S5 We did it. We've got the 35 signature on the Lumix. Supreme, Supreme. Supreme Prime, okay. Supreme, My sorry, I'm sorry. So here we go. We've got the Supreme Prime 35 on the Lumix. What do you think? It should we rent it? Nice. Should we rent it for our next our next thing? We should. Should I get them for my channel? You should buy yeah, them. Get them for your channel. How much? Uh, about twenty six a piece. It's pocket change. <laughs> Got it.